when did you do that joke about um they want to give us a lot of credit 2017 the other team sports yeah is, i literally thought how the fuck is he still writing bits this good oh thank this you this 35 years into writing jokes like it was because it was different and it was like was it a concerted effort or you just had the had the got the idea and we're like that's that'll be funny i never know how to come up with a bit you know like some people say you you sit down and you write for an hour yeah some people say they're disciplined like that yeah i've tried that <laughs> if i sit down in front of a blank piece of paper for an hour an hour later it's going to be a blank piece of paper i don't i don't know how to manufacture something out of my head i have to just go through my life and see something or hear something or experience something and then you know whatever part of that brain that goes hey man that's kind of funny then then i can then i can sit down and go all right i can put some words around this and see if i can try it on stage so a lot of credit is just watching the you know everybody say that after ball games after you it's hear the it like the fourth or fifth time you go uh, this what is it, the other it, team supposed to do with this credit? exactly yeah that they're so then you just given. act yeah. out the fantasy of how ridiculous it is that the other team would care. <laughs> you know, I won't be able to clear the bit because it's YouTube. But but the bit is basically when a team wins, they go, "Well, we won," but you got to give the other team a lot of credit. Got to give them a lot of credit, and then I do the thing of, I wonder if that news ever gets to the losers' locker room, <laughs> and then I have a guy running over going, "Hey, fellas, great news." I just came from the winner's locker room. You are not going to believe this. They are giving all of you a lot of credit. I, I'm not kidding. I, I, I got here as quickly as I could, but it was hard with the balloons and the champagne. I got here as fast as I could to share the news that you're getting a lot of credit for their championship. And they're inviting all of you to come over and kiss their new rings. <laughs> There you go. That's Brian. If you don't know who Brian Regan is, that's pretty. So you don't good have to clear the clip now. Nope, don't the only reason I did it is so you wouldn't have to clear the Thanks, clip. Thanks, Mister. We don't got to clear nothing. We got it. We own the bit now. Now I sell it. Yeah, this is how it works out. Welcome to the internet, <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> if I if I were smart, I would say, all right. Well, then this interview is over. Yeah, you're not smart. But, no, I'm not smart. You're over. I'm going to do more bits. We've seen your. <laughs> I'm going to do more bids for you. Yeah, we've seen the and then I, I don't keep going. Are you, you have that one too? <laughs> and you own that one too? I'm, I'm sensing a pattern. <laughs> yeah. You're old. You don't get it. <laughs> I was saying the other day that sometimes I feel like, you know, you see those big fire trucks where there's a guy in the front driving, but there's a guy in the back also with a steering wheel. Sometimes I feel like my brain is like that. There's, there's, there's two things going on and they're always combating each other and you know you got the one guy in the front going well we got to be reasonable and fit in and then you got the guy in the bag going hell with everybody <laughs> does this work at yeah. all <laughs> yeah that's actually what i would argue is like your gift is the the life of the mind of like trying to be normal and trying to be like yeah i'm gonna go about this in a regular thing and then the conflict with like yeah but also what <laughs> like again another incredible bit which you're about to do uh no i'm kidding um the but the ups bit i called ups that's more oh, i guess that would be overwhelmed but but an amazing bit about the conflict of like you're acting like i should know this right. <laughs> how would i know this how could i possibly i want to be nice and i i guess Everyone learned this at some point. I don't remember. That is what you're really good at. So I'm happy to hear that. Like even saying, I've never heard someone say, did you say anger fantasy or revenge fantasy? It is such a great, I realized as you said it, like, yeah, you did start doing bits like that. It was when I, I felt I was starting to do too many, I feel like when I say you too at the wrong time and stuff like that. Taking the cab to the airport, coming out, and I'm getting out, and the driver goes, hey, uh, have a good flight. You too. <laughs> you too, you have a nice flight too. In case you ever fly someday. I, I mean, I like those bits, but those were always, 
me feeling like an idiot in society and I'm acting out the fantasy of it being even more ridiculous than it actually is. And then I'm like, well, there's more to me than that, you know? And it's like, um, I want to do where I'm observing the other people being dumb. And then I want to do my fantasy of, of me, you know, one upping them. So what you were saying is, look, I'm not the only dumb person, right? I'm looking at a lot of other dummies, right? And guess who's about to be in the spotlight, <laughs> right? I don't want to be, I don't want to be the guy behind the microphone. Like I'm, I'm the moron. I want to be like an observer of myself. I, I want to be a guy who, feels that about himself at times but who also knows that he's an okay person and that other people are also doing dumb things and the world is also not the way it should be i want to i want the observer to be intelligent right even though the fantasies are stupid or angry but the obser i want the observer to be a guy who's on his game it's so funny because you are even the conflict is that and like you write bits and you're like, yeah, but I'm not me. I do say me too at the wrong time, but also, and you, yeah, UPS was overwhelming, but, but also, yeah, I'm not the, I'm not an idiot. Right. I'm a moron, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not an idiot. Like I, I, I get, this is not set up correctly. And let's talk about these setups a little bit. Like the guy that, again, another incredible bit that's uh, popping in my head the guy at the party says that ain't nothing who's the he's the uh, he's the idiot right correct and that one i want him to be the, the the moron he's the one who's you know that that needs to be uh taken down a peg. taken down you know and, and it's like i i don't so it's fun to be able to do those kinds of jokes as well and then when you get an audience laughing with you it, it feels good because it's like they feel they feel the same way Every, everybody I think everybody's a bit uncomfortable. You know, maybe some people are completely secure in themselves, but I think everybody has that two thing going on in their head, you know, and you're at a party or a social situation, you're at work or whatever it is, you know, there, there's always that, am I doing the right thing here? Am I doing the right thing? Or is that guy doing the right thing? You know, and both of those can be funny. Yes. The bit, if I may blow it and then I'll, I'll, I'll it's a sting operation where I do it poorly and then I make you do it. Brian's at a party, tells a story, and a guy says, that ain't nothing. <laughs> <laughs> right. It just completely negates everything that led up to that. Yep. And uh, I don't even remember the bit. I, 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 these bits come and go for me sometimes. So you no, know, I, I believe it. And then, you, and then you talk about Neil Armstrong. Oh, 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 got it, got it. That's the, uh, okay, that's right. That's where that comes from. Yeah, and then I say the ultimate uh, fantasy would be one of the 12 astronauts who have walked on the moon because they can beat anybody's story whenever they want. And then you let some guy do his whole thing about his traveling, and you know I travel all over the world. I got planes. I got a fleet of uh, sports cars. I travel. I was against Zurich, the Mount Kilimanjaro expedition. We might have to cancel that. Blah, 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 blah. I walked on the moon. <laughs> And then he's flattened. Yep. A lot, there's a lot of assholes in that story. <laughs> Brian would do a bit <laughs> about, uh, again, I'm, I, you have so many bits. Like sitting with me, I'm like, oh my God, he, easy out. Uh, little League, you're up at bat. And, <laughs> and the kids you know, on the other team yelling. I, I said it was hard enough being up to bat. You know, I'm nervous. I, I don't know what I'm doing. And then the kids on the other team yelling, easy out. Easy out. Everybody move in. Easy out. And I'm like, they're walking towards me. I say, uh, the outfielders were in on the clay. The infielders are looking through my pockets. Easy out. <laughs> easy out. Hey, that's my gum. <laughs> I would also, I would watch you do this. Jim McGaffigan owes you a debt of gratitude for his, like, well, you're such a huge influence. It's Thank incredible. You. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. 
This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. I'm, a little, I'm not really used to the green screen. <laughs> 